Hello, my little mathematicians. Today, we're going to help you get started on this unit rate worksheet. Remember, whenever you're showing your work, please show it on a separate sheet of paper and make sure that you title it whatever it is that you're working on. So this is the unit rate worksheet. And since there's several titled like that, you can be more specific. It's the groceries better buy worksheet or even just LM627. As long as you title what it is, we're OK. Now for this one, it starts off with we're talking about soda and it sold for 99 cents for eight ounces or $1.37 for 12 ounces. And you want to determine which one's the better buy. And you do that by finding the unit price, which is a fancy way of saying unit rate, but it's more specific where you have money on the top. OK, so let's go ahead and try to do the first one. Ninety nine cents for eight ounces. So if I write that on my piece of paper, 99 cents for eight ounces, I want to start by finding the unit rate or the unit price. And I do that by dividing whatever's in the denominator. Eight is in this denominator, so I'm going to divide them both by eight. Because eight divided by eight is one. So now I have one ounce. Whenever you divide something by itself, you get one. And I can do this because as long as I do the same thing to the bottom, I do to the top as well, I can do whatever I want. Because if you think about it, any number over itself is one, right? Eight over eight is one, 10 over 10 is one, three over three is one. So as long as I do the same thing to both the top and the bottom over here, then I can multiply or divide by whatever I want. And so I can divide by eight in order to get a denominator of one and give me a unit rate. Okay, so now that I established that, we can type this into our calculator. So you type in 0 0.99 divided by eight and you get 0.12375. Now money only goes two places. It goes to the hundredths place. So I just wanna focus on the number that's in the hundredths place. If the number behind the one you're focusing on is four or below, then it tells this number to stay whatever it is. If the number behind it is five or above, then it tells this number to go up by one. There's no such thing as round down. It's either stay what it was or go up. Since this is a three, it tells this two to stay a two. So this unit price is 12 cents per ounce. Okay, so this one was 12 cents per ounce. Now I wanna compare that so versus the other one that says it was $1.37 for 12 ounces. Now, whenever we're dealing with ounces, I just want to point out, be really careful. Um, have your Z's be a little line through the middle of it so it doesn't look like a two. And the other confusing thing for ounces, there's an O right here. This could look like 1,202, right, if I'm not careful. So have your numbers be a lot bigger than the units and for your Z's draw a little line through it. And that can hopefully help eliminate some of the confusion later. All right, now let's divide by my denominator to get the unit rate of one and do the same thing on top. So 12 divided by 12 is one. So I have one ounce on the bottom. And when I type this in 1.37 divided by 12, I get 0 0.1141 on my calculator. So I look to the hundredths place and that four tells this one to stay a one. So this is 11 cents per ounce. So what's the better buy? 12 cents per ounce or 11 cents per ounce? Obviously, you'd rather spend 11 cents. That's the better buy because even a penny saved is still a penny saved, right? So I'm going to put that 11 cents was the better buy. So I put a check mark in that column for the 11 cents one. Let's try another one. What if I did number two? Okay, so number one, that problem was talking about soda. For number two, this one's talking about lotion. And for lotion, it says we have the two options of $2.59 for three ounces versus $4.69 for 
for eight ounces. Well, to find the unit rates, I'm gonna divide by whatever's in the denominator. So I'm gonna divide by three here, and I'm gonna divide by eight here. Well, when I do that, three divided by three is one, so I got one ounce, and since I divided by three in the denominator, I need to divide three into the numerator. So type into your calculator 2.59 divided by three, and you get 0.86333, keeps going. Okay, I don't need to re write all those numbers out. All I need to focus on is the hundreds place and one number right behind it because I'm talking about money. Well, that three behind the six tells the six to stay a six. So the unit rate for this one is 86 cents per ounce. The unit rate for this one, okay, eight divided by eight is one, so one ounce, and 4.69 divided by eight, when I type that into my calculator, I get 0.58625. So I'm going to underline the eight, and that six tells this eight to go up. So instead of being 58 cents, it's now 59 cents per ounce. So this one had a unit rate of 59 cents per ounce. What's the better buy, 86 cents or 59 cents? 